Greetings and welcome back to Planet Zoo. In our last episode, which of course was our first episode, we started going through Goodwin House, which of course is the introductory zoo. And the last thing we did was we made life good for these two Bengal tigers over here. Now, as I understand, there are some peafowls who need our attention, so why don't we just go over there and see what's going on with them. And it does seem as if this is where we're supposed to be, so... Now then, just find one of the peafowls and select them to open their information panel. Then we can have a good gander at how they're doing. Although technically, I suppose gandering would just be for geese. Okay, what is a P... Expand their social welfare and we can get a bit more detail. Okay, where are they? I don't see any... Okay, is that a peafowl? There we go. It's asleep. Okay, expand social welfare. Uh, now, they've clearly got plenty of space and they're not stressed, but it looks like their social group isn't quite right. So let's find out more. Yeah. Click on the social tab at the top of their information panel to see what's wrong. Right, as you can see, the peafowlers need their population to be larger. To solve this little problem, you'll need to adopt three more female peafowls. Off you pop to the animal market then. Okay, so let's go to the animal market. That's animal trading. Okay, not quite as expensive as Bengal tigers, right? All right, so we'll just buy them, adopt. Oh, I should say we're adopting them. We're not buying them. All right, and let's switch over to animal storage and send to the zoo. And then send to the zoo. And... Send to the zoo. Good work on those peafowls. I expect they'll be delivered soon. But sadly, it sounds like our snow leopard is a bit grumpy. Let's head over there and see what's wrong with her. Okay, there's a grumpy snow leopard. Okay, so where is the snow leopard? Okay, I guess this is the snow leopard. Well, you know, there's Just like not people. A animals can suffer from stress if things aren't quite right. You know, like when you see someone put in the milk before the tea bag. <laughs> In the case of these snow leopards, they're a bit stressed by their lack of privacy. You can lower their stress levels by swapping out the normal glass barrier by their cave for one-way glass. It's not a cheap option, but I think they're worth the expense, don't you? This will give the snow leopards somewhere to go when they want to get away from the prying eyes of the guests. I think another issue might be that there's not quite enough snow for the snow leopards, if you know what I mean. All right, we're buying one-way glass. Okay, I didn't know that was a thing for zoos. Okay, so select it, and boom. Of course, when an animal isn't in its natural biome, it's probably going to be too hot or too cold. And surprisingly for the snow leopards, it's, it's too hot. <laughs> Even with the terrible British weather, you should help cool it down by adding some coolers to their habitat. But let's start by opening up the temperature heat map and having a look-see at the temperature in the leopard's habitat. Okay, where is that? Okay, down here in the lower left. Ow! Okay. Okay, turn on the temperature one. As you can see, we already have one cooler in there. Let's pop some more down and get as much of the habitat as chilly as we can. Luckily for us, this habitat already has power, but you'll need to make sure of that in the future. Just so you know, if any part of a habitat is powered, then the whole habitat will be powered. Okay, um, habitat, and here we go with the power. Okay, cooler, only 50 bucks. It's a D, it's a, uh, it's a bargain. Okay, why don't we start over here so they can sleep nicely, and maybe one like over here? Let's just see here, like, here. All right, is that gonna do the job? Okay, it does seem to be doing the job. There's one little warm corner over here, I think. Okay, looks good. Okay, I guess maybe one more. All right. Well, you know what? Why don't we just do one more? You can find heat maps for all sorts of helpful things, so do be sure to explore them and make good use of them. 
It'll take a little while for the temperature to adjust once you've added coolers or heaters. But now we've got the coolers in, we can address the leopard's terrain welfare. You see, what the leopards really want in here is snow and rock. So let's make that happen. Okay, snow and rock. All right, so what am I doing? I'm going back to habitat? No, terrain, right. Okay, terrain painting. Okay, so, well, let's, let's take a look at one of these guys so I can understand what's going on here. Hold on a minute. Where are, oh, is that one? Okay, hold on a minute. Let me just, uh, like I said, let me just break out of this for a second here. Okay, so let's see. Uh, environment. Okay, he doesn't like these plants, too. So that's kind of an issue. Um, terrain. Okay, he doesn't have enough snow. And it's way too much long grass for him. So I'm guessing if I replace the long grass with the snow, that will make him happy. All right, so it's good. Okay, that's a loud train, just saying. Maybe that's a problem, too. He can't sleep. Okay, so let's see about that. We'll get rid of the long grass and we'll put snow down. So back to painting. We're painting with all the colors of snow. All right, so let's see. Okay, uh, here maybe. Okay, how we doing? How we doing? Okay, he's got enough snow. Here a second. What else does he want? Maybe if I put short grass down? Hold on a second. Okay, a little bit more. Maybe in here? Okay, hold on a minute. What about there? Well then, there we go. All of that should give you a pretty good understanding of how to make animals happy. So I'd like you to go and check on all the other animals in the zoo and fix up any issues with their habitats. That'll increase the average welfare of the animals across the whole zoo. And that average welfare is a very important statistic. Okay, now, so... to quickly see how all your animals are doing in the zoo, you should go into zoo management and then into the animals section. Okay, that's in the lower left. Zoo. And then we have the zoo overview. Oh, and down to animals. As you can see. This list shows you the animal's overall welfare. So, if something's amiss, then you can quickly pop over to them using the locate button. Right, I'm off for a cuppa while you make sure all the animals are well looked after. Okay, the tortoises seem to have a problem. So, is that the locate one? Yeah, apparently. Okay, so let's see what their problem is. There's too many people watching them. There's your problem. All right, let's check out one of these guys and see what's going on. Okay, welfare. Enrichment. They're very unhappy in the enrichment area. Okay, species food enrichment. Toy. Okay, do they not have enough food? Okay, there's two food containers here. All right, why don't we start with toys? Because toys are always a great thing, right? Okay, now we have to figure this out, right? Okay, so let's see. Um, where is heaters and coolers? All. Oh, I'm looking for food and water, heaters and coolers, enrichment items. Okay, is there a way that I can filter by species? Okay, so let's see here now. Where? Okay, they're right there. Okay, so these are the things that um, this tortoise likes. All right, let's think. What would be cool? A sprinkler. I think I think they would kind of like a sprinkler. All right, why don't we put a sprinkler down, like right over here, and then we'll put something over here. All right, that's good. All right, how are they doing? Okay, their toy enrichment is now really good. So they're happy with the toys there. So there they go. Okay, those people are really loud. I can understand why they're a little bit miffed there. All right, so let's think about this. Um, species food enrichment. All right, so let's go for food. 
Is this what they're talking about? Because I selected food enrichment. A block of frozen fruit. Um, hold on a second. Um, that? Okay, that made them really happy. A fruit spike tree. We'll also put one of these guys, like, like here. All right. Okay, they seem to be doing good now. Is it all of them? Are they all happy? I mean, their welfare habitat. What's the problem with the habitat? Hard shelter. What does that mean? Does that mean they want like a little pen or something? Beds and shelters. Okay, what do we have here? Um, how big are these? I'm thinking maybe over here in the corner. Okay, hold on a second. I have no idea how big this is. Uh, let's just rotate that around. I mean, is that what he wants? Maybe something closer to the ground. Okay, hold on a minute. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know if I want to cover that up. Can we get something? Metal? Habitat bedding. Maybe this stuff? Okay, that didn't do anything. It didn't, it didn't fix. The, let me look at the whole place. Okay, you know, maybe I could put it over here. Okay, let's see. Um, hold on. Okay, um, uh, yeah, like that. Okay, I mean, is that what they want? Okay, it did increase the hard shelter part. It just kind of looks ugly, though, you know? What are they going to do with that? Maybe, okay, let me take this one out. Let me take this one out. And let me put something better in for them. Maybe like that? Okay, can I lower that into the ground or something? Because it's got like a big step up, you know? All right, how about... Uh, that's a little big. Uh, again, a little on the big side. See, I don't want that metal... I shouldn't say it's the cement ground there, you know? Hold on a minute here now. Um, Like this, maybe? Put it like there. Okay, I lost. Okay, well, he's at 52%. That's definitely better. How are they doing now? I mean, they seem pretty happy. So I don't think I really have to mess with them too much more. It's just that I would like to have gotten some kind of a shelter that would look a little bit more natural for them. Maybe if I put something in the shelter... Like habitat bedding, like this. Uh, wait a minute, I can't do, can I do that? Oh wait, maybe I put it underneath. Just put something there then. Okay, that didn't do anything. All right, well, you know what? I think that they're okay for now because they are uh, at 93%. I think 93% is pretty good. All right, so let's just see now. Let's go back to the zoo. Let me kill this. All right, back to the zoo. Okay, they seem to be fine. All right, let's see. Okay, the zebra and the giraffe. I guess they're roomies. Is that a problem? All right, let's see. Okay, so we have a zebra selected habitat. He doesn't like the terrain. It's inappropriate for this animal. His enrichment is terrible. He doesn't have any good toys. And he doesn't like the plants. My goodness, you're a little bit a little bit of a troublemaker there, aren't you? All right, what about the giraffe? Okay, the giraffe also is not too happy with the um, the terrain. All right, let's look around here. Terrain. Long grass and soil. So in other words, he wants more long grass and soil. What do you want? You want more long grass and soil, but you also want short grass. I guess there's too much dirt for them. Okay, but that's weird. He wants soil, but he also wants grass. So what else is here? 
I mean, you put one down, you take up the other one, right? Oh, he's saying there's too much soil. That's his problem. All right, what about the giraffe? Right, there's too much soil. Okay, so they both want long grass. So let's do some painting for some long grass here. All right, short grass, long grass. All right. All right, hold on a second. All right, then here. All right, let's look around in here. All right. Okay, I think we're getting there. Okay. We're nearly into the long grass is good for the giraffe. Okay, is that uh, is that just a giraffe now? Is that a giraffe? Hold on a minute. That's a giraffe. Okay, so the giraffes are happy with that. So, still too much soil, but I think that the... Um, Okay, hold on a minute here. Let me just select him. Can I select you? Okay, hold on a second. Let's break out of that. All right, this. And we'll take him into terrain. Okay, now he wants short grass, right? We might be able to throw a little bit more long grass in there, but he they both still say too much soil. All right, we're going with short grass now. All right. But I don't want to remove any of the long grass. You know what I mean? All right. All right, let's see. Okay, I took out some of the long grass, so I'm going to have to put some of that back. But I think we need a lot of the other stuff here. Short grass... All right, I have to be careful and only use this to replace the soil. Okay. Okay, I got enough short grass. Now I need to put the long grass back down. But let's focus on where there is soil. Because they want me to get rid of the soil. Oh, 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 oh. Let's move over here. All right, and... Okay, this is good. We're getting rid of uh, the soil. They don't seem to like it. All right, under this tree. And over here. All right. Okay, we almost got rid of enough of that. Am I doing... All right, back to here. All right. Okay, I still need to get rid of some of this soil. All right, under this tree. Okay, over here. A little bit more with the soil. We need to get rid of that soil. Okay, it seems... Okay, a little bit more under here. Okay, so... The, uh, I think that's the zebra. Zebra's happy. Okay, let's stop with this. And right, now let's check out... Okay, they're both good with the terrain. So I'm not going to mess with the terrain anymore. All right, so let's go back to here. Enrichment. All right, toy. All right, we need a toy for a giraffe. So let's go into habitat. And then enrichment items... All right, we're not going to do it by the tortoise. We're going to do it by species. And what kind of giraffe is that? Okay. So let's see what he's going to like right here. Okay, he likes the suspended high graze feeder. Okay. Boom. And... Is, is that enough or? Oh, he likes that one. Okay, no, is that a food enrichment item or is that a toy? Okay, I think that was a food enrichment item. Is that what I got here? Oh, yes, it is. All right, now I want the toy. Okay, they seem to like sprinklers too. All right, we'll put a sprinkler down, like right near the water. We'll put two. 
All right. Okay, they definitely like that, but let's see. A rubbing pillar. All right, we'll put that like in the, like over here. Oh, wait a minute. Let's put like over here. Not bad. Not Ooh. bad at all. I think it's fair to say that you've passed the first part of your training with flying colors. There's still lots more to learn, but we'll have to head to another one of Bernie's zoos for that. If you want to grab your passport, we'll head off, shall we? Okay, tell you what, why don't we just uh, spend a little bit of time in the next zoo and mm. see what that Sounds like you've got the whole zoo purring away nicely. Well, purring, grunting, screaming, booming, <laughs> all the uh, appropriate noises. I guess I was right to hire you, huh? <laughs> don't tell her I told you, but Nancy wasn't sure you'd even last the morning. <laughs> so, we're happy this is working out. And... Nancy owes me a foxy coffee. <laughs> as strange as it seems, considering we just met, when I look at you, I feel like you're the child I never had. After the one I did have, obviously. But you see, zookeeping's not for my daughter. Don't get me wrong. Emma absolutely loves animals, but she set her sights somewhat higher. Mm -hmm. Wants to save the entire planet. I'll just settle for saving a couple of species. Oh, and maybe having a type of frog named after me. <laughs> Welcome to Madagascar. It's quite the change of scenery from dreary old England, huh? <laughs> Apart from the weather, I suppose. They don't call these places rainforest for nothing. <laughs> the zoo you'll be working in is an ape sanctuary where we're doing vitally important conservation work. Not just for apes, but for all kinds of species. But apes, well, apes are some of the closest relatives to humans there are. And yet, the way the world treats them is like, well, very much like some of us treat our actual relatives. <laughs> anyway, that's why I'm determined that our operation here does some good. If we can all leave some part of the world in a better state than we found it, we'll have lived lives worth living. And speaking of states, I have a horrible feeling I left the house in a right one. <laughs> when I get back, I expect my life won't be worth living at all. <laughs> what do you think of Madagascar then? bit warm for my taste, to be honest. Anyway, this is Bernie's primate sanctuary. It's not just primates, though. We've got all sorts of animals. So why don't we go and have a look at some of them, eh? We'll start by taking a look at the red ruffed lemurs. They're the ones that look like they should be in a Shakespeare play. <laughs> Come on, let's head over to them. Okay, so we're going to the apes now. And as soon as it gives me control of the screen, I see where we're going. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm guessing this is where our new friends are? Red ruffed lemurs are found in the rainforests of Masuala. That's in northeast Madagascar. They can actually live anywhere from 15 up to 25 years. Fancy that, eh? Okay, when you're ready, let's go find our Bornean orangutans. All right, orangutans. That's what I want to see. Okay, break. There we go. All right, so where? Here we go. Here we go. The Bornean orangutan is such a marvelous creature. They're always a big favorite at any zoo they feature in, and they're also the biggest tree-dwelling animal on the planet. <laughs> Assuming you don't count any lions that got stuck up one. Oh, why don't you take a better look at them? Open up their information panel and go into the animal camera. Aren't they just incredible? When you're ready, let's go and have a look-see at some of our beautiful bonobos. <laughs> They're quite the characters. Okay, bonobos. I don't know what a bonobo is. Is that a donation box? If it is, it's really in the wrong place, isn't it? All right, uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. Bonobos. Oh, dear. It looks like we've arrived just in time. One of the habitat's barriers has collapsed. 
And wouldn't you know it, one of the bonobos has made a run for it. We'll need to catch them. But before we do, we should box up the other bonobos to stop them escaping too. Select the habitat boundary to bring up the habitat information panel. Okay, where are the shelters? We need to lock it down to protect the guests. Actually, I think we want to protect the bonobo from the guests. All right, so select... Good, now open the animals tab. Animals tab. And click on box all animals to box up the remaining bonobos. Um, okay, if this... Okay, you really should point at that because, you know, that's pretty small. Oh, now, how cruel. We need a vet to recapture that escaped bonobo. But it seems our last one left to do some research in the wild. Not an ideal situation. So, we'll need to hire a replacement, Sharpish. Okay. Go into the zoo section and then into the staff management area. You can uh. find all of your staff in here, but there's no time to go looking at their particulars at the moment. Hire a vet. Okay. Hire a vendor. No. Hire an educator. No, we'll hire a vet. Now, click on one of the paths to place the vet in your zoo. Okay. Great. Now let's deal with our SKP before they can cause too much havoc. Use the animal alerts to jump to the escaped bonobo. And then click on the call vet button to call the vet over to capture it. I just love the way they're running in terror. If only they do that when a velociraptor shows instead of running right at him, right? Okay, call a vet! Oh. Okay, that's a relief. <laughs> so while the vet deals with our bonobo friend, let's go fix up their habitat so they can't escape again. Head back over there. Alrighty. As you can see, the barrier's collapsed. Someone's taken their eye off the ball, obviously. Let's get this one replaced. Select the barrier and then we'll edit it. Delete the broken section of barrier and replace it with a brand spanking new one. Okay, barrier and delete and hold that hold that what almost almost okay like there okay um it's, where's the undo where where's the undo all right hold on a minute there we go good now that we've done that we need to make sure to add climb proof barriers to the top that way the bonobos won't be able to climb out just make sure you've got the correct piece of barrier selected when you do that. You mean okay, that so little go rim? Go to the options section and select which side the climb-proof barrier needs to go on. And don't get it wrong. <laughs> We're more worried about bonobos climbing out than guests climbing in. That little rim? Okay. Whatever works. Let's see. Climb-proof on the left? Nicely done. And I think it's high time we unbox those bonobos, wouldn't you say? <laughs> the poor mites will get sad if we leave them in there for too long. All right, Select so the habitat animal. barrier to bring up the habitat information panel again. And they're, you're and then free! The animals tab. Yeah, I did it already. So, it turns out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. We'll need to hire a couple of new ones so we can help stop any more breakouts. You see, mechanics do all sorts of helpful things around the zoo, but one of their most important jobs is taking care of the habitat barriers. <laughs> Without mechanics around to repair them, the barriers will crack, crumble and fall down. And before you know it, we'll be overrun with escaped animals. Go into the zoo section and then into the staff management area again. Okay. Hire a mechanic and then click on a path to place them in the zoo. Oh, uh, actually, I'm back here. Staff. Okay, I notice some of these people are unhappy. I'm hoping that I am not going to have to make my employees happy. I pay them, after all, right? All right, mechanic. Boom. And then click on the path again to hire a second mechanic. As you can see, you don't have to go back into staff management if you're hiring lots of the same type of staff member. Okay. Oh, gosh, we have been busy, haven't we? Good work there. I'm off for a cuppa. Oh, I think Bernie wants a word with you. Oh, I hear you had a bit of an issue with an escaped bonobo. The main thing is that you dealt with it swiftly. And more importantly, without the animals stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front gate. 
You see, another key responsibility for our vets is animal research. Researching animals allows vets to unlock new enrichment items, additional information for our education resources, enhanced breeding programs, and improvements to food quality. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the animal's food, not the vet's. It'll take more than a research grant to improve the staff canteen. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, research is a key part of running your zoo. In order for a vet to undertake research, they require a research center. <laughs> And once again, that's something that this zoo is missing. So let's build one. I've marked out an area for you to put it. I'm stuck on him. I can't even turn. Uh, I think that's good for now. Hold on a second. Can we try that again? Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I think that's pretty good for today. Let's skip the research center situation and uh, maybe we'll work on that next time. Uh, maybe we'll continue going on here. Maybe we'll go someplace else. Uh, I don't know. I do want to learn everything, but we'll have to see where we go from there because I have a feeling there is a lot of stuff before we can, I don't know, get more independent because a lot of this stuff is pre-crafted. I'm hoping that we will be able to uh, to build stuff ourselves. I know that there's a, um, a sandbox mode. Maybe we can do that. But I would like to learn a little bit more about the game. Uh, like the mechanics thing. I would never have known something like that. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Yeah, If you want to see more of this, of course, don't forget to give the video a like. Maybe say something in the comments. And of course, subscribing is always a good way to show your support for a series. And of course, a YouTuber. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.